welcome all of you here to our, our meeting tonight. I'm having a sister, so I appreciate coming. And Summer is checked in from Zoom, so we see Summer there. Uh, we do want to welcome our upcoming new board members that will start next month, Rebecca Wolfenbarker and Eric Stewart. And uh, we have a couple of information sheets from other candidates who are here to uh, will be here sometime soon to fill uh, uh, Tim's place since Tim, this is Tim's last meeting as well. So thank you all uh, for being here. I want to express our appreciation to both of Susan and, and Tim, all three. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little while. Uh, right now, we have some corrections to the minutes that I need to go over. Um, Nikki, did Liz share any of those with you? Do you want to talk about those? No, There's just a few things that need to be corrected in Liz's report before we vote on the minutes. You go ahead. Okay. All right. I will try to go through. It's in the section under the report of a Coe River Regional Library. Um, in the one, two, three, four, four black bullets, and it's the white bullet under the fourth black bullet. ORRL has also hosted a regional end service where archivists come and discuss collections, care, and preservation for library st staff in the past. So um, that was one correction. Under the tech grant section, uh, one to the third white bullet. Title six training for staff has been required the past several years and is a requirement this year. If the county provides Title six training, then blunt staff may use that as their Title six training. And then the next to the last dark bullet down there, she encourages trustees to complete the trustee certification program. So I think that's all the corrections in that section. So do I have a motion that our minutes be approved? Motion. Motion, do I have a second? Second. Is there any other corrections in the minutes? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. All right, at this time, we will talk about the trustee officer nominations. Tim, can I turn that over to you? Uh, sure. So as far as the uh, leadership committee uh, meeting that went last month, we went together and uh, discussed and put forward nominations for uh, Lauren to be the uh, next uh, chairperson for the board and uh, for uh, Stephanie to be the vice chair. And then, uh, um, I think Secretary is, summer. yeah, still summer. So, but, uh, but that's not really, I don't know if that's even a nomination. <laughs> it's an appointment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and that was the, that was the result of that. Meeting. Okay. So do we have any nominations from the floor for either of those positions? Anybody want to volunteer for either of those positions? <laughs> Okay, do we, can we vote on these as, as a, just a slate, all of them at yeah. one time? Oh, 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 we got a. We have a volunteer. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Simon, you better not raise your hand. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Okay. All right. Uh, welcome to our guests again. Thank you for being here. Uh, Nikki is here in, in place of Liz, so we'll get to her report in just a minute. Um, the uh, you we didn't do the copy of the regional search agreement, did we? I'll send it out. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Tomorrow, under my reports, um, the uh, lactation pod grand reveal will be at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, we're excited about that. Um, I would like to commend the staff and friends on the mini con. I don't know if any of you got a chance to come by 
Thursday, Friday, or Saturday uh, during that weekend, but it was crazy, wasn't it? It, it, was it was actually, well, so it was super busy. It was busy. But we it finally got the formula right on staffing it. Yeah. So that was great. And I have temporary Harper tattoos for everyone. Um, there is a pre protective covering on the front and a little moisture is needed for the back. <laughs> it was very, it was very successful. And I know the friends will do a report, do, do a report on their sales and all that. It, but it was, it was very busy and, and all hands were on on oh, day, yeah. for sure for that. Yeah. Um, so thank you all. Also, we'd like to congratulate Melinda Rust on her recognition for 40 years of service to the library. That that was uh, something that the Blount County uh, government recognized her. And also Kathleen Christie on her ret upcoming retirement. We hate to see you go, but really impressed to read all the stuff that you talked about and everything that's been happening while you did that. Lots of fun and it was over many years. So. Right. Uh, any any other reports from any board members or anything? All right, Manny, I'll turn it over to you. First, I do want to thank Logan, Susan, and Tim for their dedication um, serving on the board. I know some board meetings were pretty breezy and easy, and then some were not so breezy and easy. But uh, thank you for your dedication and and participating in this board. Uh, I want to thank you, Stephanie, for the past year. You have been an absolute rock star uh, in this as the chair, because again, some sometimes some meetings it was very easy. And then there were some that weren't so easy. They were challenging, but you uh, you were terrific and phenomenal at what you did. And I really appreciate that. I mean, you really, you were the chair. Like you were the chair of this board. So I wanna thank you. Um, again, when there were some rough times, you. You took care of it. So I, I really appreciate that. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So Minicon was fantastic. Um, it was busy, but it was not. The staff weren't running around in chaos with a chaotic look. So we had enough staff on board. Everyone had a good time. Staff was walking around, looking at the vendors, uh, participating as a judge for the uh, costume contest and going downstairs to the friends, checking out the book sale as well. So um, today we just did a debriefing, or I like to call it Monday morning quarterback, mm -hmm. on what work, what we, what we can do next year to improve it. But we we're all hands down very happy how it went this year. And we're going to, that formula that, that Andre mentioned, we're going to use that next year and add a few new cool things as well. So. One thing I do want to point out and what Children's is doing during our summer reading program, they are taking the library out into the county, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. They are doing story times at the John Sevier Pool. Uh, they already have one at the Louisville Town Hall. They have a, several more coming up. And then the Smoky Mountain Outdoor Center, which I believe is in Townsend. That's right. In Townsend. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they've been doing that. And actually this week they're doing pickleball right down the street here in Alcoa. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, reference, it's it's all about Kathleen uh, for her 19 plus years here at the library. Um, she's done a terrific job and sad to see her go, but I know she's not gonna be far. She'll be still coming in. And for the new board, new board members that are coming in, Kathleen will be the your tour guide for the facility. So um, even though she's retiring, she will still be around, which is good. It's all a good thing. One thing I, I wanted to point out, I always get to kick out the questions that reference gets asked. And you do get some really amazing, and by the day of Minicon, there was an interesting question. And um, the one that I, I kind of looked at, but you get it. Uh, number for the Lions Club to donate uh, their eyes. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. And then about a local restaurant. 
someone swindled money, but that that's what the reference desk does is they <laughs> get questions and boy, we got an interesting question this past Friday, which we will not put in here, but um, <laughs> we'll put that one in next month. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that's for the book. Yeah, that's <laughs> that we're, yeah, we joke that there's gonna be a book with all the interesting things that happen. Reference question will be a whole chapter. <laughs> I don't know. So what is a semi otisan? I was about to say you pull up. Oh, French, I know what's going to down. Um, it's something. Give me a minute. Okay, the is reference. A, the new way of saying 40? Semi otisan. Anjana, I knew it when I looked, when I wrote that down. We'll come back to that. So, um, Kathy has something really neat in the collection portion, it's just how the weaning process goes. And she does such a terrific job to make, and you see, this is what it looks like versus this, where it's not cluttered and everything's just all on top of one another, that you're able to weed the collection, which weeding is a word of just to remove books. And we do that because of age, or there's a da damage to it, or the circulation isn't there. So then you make it more inviting. So. Patron, uh, over at Patron Services, I want to say, yeah, 500, and, and that's not um, misprint, 559 new cards mm -hmm. in the month of May, which is, wow, <clears throat> my goodness. We hosted a staff development day over at the partnership uh, late May. We had Wendy Wan and Sarah Jerniski from United Way, they were fantastic. They gave a great presentation on services that the United Way provides and reference really uh, took a liking to that because they do get a lot of questions when it comes to say uh, soup kitchen or something. So uh, they have this wonderful spreadsheet that lists everything on there. So that was great. We also had um, Brian Daniels, uh, the CEO of the partnership, he gave a Great presentation on what the partnership does and some of the new fun things that are coming in the future. I had a lot of questions from, from staff about that. So that, that was good. And then Mary Beth Lima, uh, who was one of my classmates for Leadership One, she's at the UT Extension and she gave a presentation as well. So it was great. It was neat to have it off site. And there were many staff that had never been there which was great. So they got to see it for the first time down, down in the basement. Um, did, did you find out? It is the study of signs and the communication and the meaning behind signs. It doesn't sound real thrilling, but that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one last thing, and this happened today, we had our pre excuse me, our pre-bid meeting of the book return project. Excuse me, we had uh, three general contractors come out. Eric, uh, who is the architect for the project, he ran it. Greg was there representing the board. Uh, they had questions, we showed the exterior, and then we went in, showed the interior. And uh, the unsealing of the bids will be July the 11th at 1.30, it will be done on Zoom. So once I get the link, if you're interested, you will see Mallory from the purchasing office. She will just be at her desk opening the bids. So uh, we can get the show on the road with that. So that's great. So we don't have to go to the office. Cool. We don't have to crowd into, if you want to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be here with your letter. Yes, yeah, with her letter over. Um, I will pass along the, oh, sorry. When you, when you retire your books, where do they go? So some of them, Kathy can add, add, answer this question. If they're some... in good shape, they're going down to the friends. Yeah. Some of them, we have people that can come in, repair them, and we'll put them back out. And some of them are just nasty, and they get recycled. They're either retired, replaced, or sold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or repair, retired, replaced, or repaired. Yeah. 
So I hope everyone, uh, if you go over to page 10 on the PR update, you'll see a QR code. Um, I hope all of you went and clicked on that link or took a photo of the QR code. That is a community member, a local business owner from Louisville Mercantile, who did a TikTok, uh, sorry, Instagram um, little video about how excited she was that she checked a book out. She gave a short little book review. And then she was like, and what I love is I can return it here at the Louisville Locker. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to let you know that the Locker is very much um, appreciated and supported by that community. And uh, we got a little, we got a great little, you know, uh, what do they call that organic social media mm -hmm. plug. So that was great. Um, again, so uh, Minicon, um, PR wise was very exciting for us. We got to launch um, Harper uh, just between us. Um, what is it? We had someone also do Harper's birth chart. So if you're interested in <laughs> astrology behind our little guy, our little girl, um, then then let me know. But uh, she was very well received and people are excited about her. They definitely like the little tattoos um, and the, the program was, um, yeah, was a success. It really was. It was nice because it was staffed the way that it was. You could see staff from every department having the ability to get out and interact a little bit with the programming. And it was lovely. There was a whole, it was a happy staff. It was good to see. Um, moving on to the finances, uh, we are tracking very well, uh, nothing too exciting. We are um, under the projections, except for when we come to our revenue, and we're doing very well with our revenue. Um, a lot of, that's it. Our, our uh, fiscal year ends June 28th. Uh, as of June 14th, we weren't, we're not allowed to uh, raise any more purchase orders until the next fiscal year, but we've got everything taken care of and we're, we're strong and steady coming into the final stretch. Any questions? Um, so when I did the presentation here in April, I think, um, I did another one, a follow-up presentation uh, for training with the foundation members. And um, we're going to continue with some training, um, some fundraising and training with them. And um, we didn't meet in May, but we are looking forward to the, the book drop, the progress on that, and see how that um, progresses. Um, the foundation uh, paid for the steps along the way, and so um, looking forward to that. Um, the uh, the um, the training that we're going to do with the, the board members will probably begin, um, I don't know if it'll be next month, but probably the following month with the, with the board members. And, and what I'll take them through is a series of how-tos to try to alleviate some uh, anxiety that a lot of people have with fundraising. Um, we've asked them to begin to identify some folks that might have an interest in getting to know the library better, kind of where we need to start to bring people into the library and begin to give them sort of the uh, close-up view through um, with, uh, me and sort of the back room. So I think that's... Thank you, Bill. Uh, report of Friends of the Library, Ms. D. Well, we have had an amazing month. Um, we had our sale and made um, $15,500. And the Friday night of the sale, uh, we launched Vietnam Voices uh, 4, fourth and final in the series of books that we published. 
And we had uh, out in Milan, uh, so we sold another $815 worth of books that evening. I think the people were really excited because all of the authors and editors were there and uh, allowed them to each you know, get book signing done at the same time. So that was another successful, we had almost 50 people out there. Um, we had uh, on Saturday our celebration on the lawn, the second of our anniversary specials. And um, we had the face painter out there um, who did a, a great job with the kids and a couple of adults, including myself. Um, I had a little 50 painted on my face there for our 50th anniversary. And um, it was uh, well received. We sold t-shirts for the uh, golden anniversary. Um, they're almost all gone. Um, so we have, uh, we just in general had fun. I know there was a lot of people who came out and took advantage of the food trucks and sat in the, uh, under the tent there and had their lunch. So it was good. Um, this month, we also got a $3,089 donation from the Dollywood Foundation. And what happens is if you sign up for the Imagination Library license plate, um, that money uh, Dolly gets and she funnels it out to the fit people who sign up. And so we got our percentage of the money. So How much was it? $3,089. I thought the check was a mistake. I called them up and said, did you mean to send this to us? I, I had never seen that, but apparently we're going to get that. So uh, I'm inclined to now go get an imagination yeah, library license. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had our annual meeting last week uh, and our election of officers. So um, this is my last meeting. Danny Kemp Hill be taking over, and I think Marie uh, Smalley was here last week, last month, and uh, Marie will be the vice president. I'll still be on the board as the past president, but and I'll still be volunteering downstairs. And I also agreed to keep the last two anniversary events. So the next one is August 3rd, our teacher's thank you event. And that's really shaping up uh, with Newell uh, donating teacher or uh, supplies for teachers. Um, we have uh, Kroger getting into it and giving us apples for the teachers. And we think we have a florist um, who will remain nameless until they commit <laughs> um, for some roses for our teachers as well. So um, we actually have that um, ready to go. Free books, free children's books, free adult books. Uh, private sale, all of that will happen on August 3rd. And then um, our big event, October 25th, uh, we say save the date. Um, we have five of our 23 tables uh, reserved, and it's a table for eight. Tickets are going to be $50, and the table will be $350. And um, that is moving along. We, we uh, contracted with ClickBid this week. Uh, for the auction site, and we'll be putting up auction items. As a matter of fact, we have a, um, a flyer. I was just going to send a few around. We're going to be passing them out to um, businesses to look for donation items, but it applies to individuals also if you are interested. We actually have one of our folks who's interested in donating a gold coin collection for our 50th. So um, we're pretty excited. And all um, of the funds will, of course, go to the library. Um, during the annual meeting, we also um, celebrated uh, a projection for the end of the year, but our projections for the year. And our book sales um, went up from 71,000 to 75,000 for this year. Um, eBay went from 126,000 to 138,000. Uh, donations was up well over 10,000 and membership was up a few thousand dollars as well. So all of those buckets um, are really great. We did get the $20,000 uh, full amount for the top grant so we can continue the um, technology classes that we've done this year. 
So all of um, those pieces are coming together for another great year for the Queens. And uh, and, the library. and the library, yes. But we'll talk about that a little bit later, won't we, Manny? Yes. <laughs> Where um, uh, it, it has been my pleasure to sit here and look at this side of the operation. So I thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We do not have Liz here today, but we do have Nikki Branham Snyder to report from our Coe River Regional Hello. Library. Thank hey. you, Nikki. Ooh, thanks for having me. There's not a lot happening with the region, as Manny and Anjane are aware, though there are quite a few deadlines coming up at the end of the fiscal year. And we have the report that some are included in your packet. Anjane did get the tech grant anyway, like one of my first ones to submit it. So the deadline for that was yesterday. You guys are always so wonderful. The tech grant has been turned in. I know you will finish your continuing education requirements for your staff. Um, I know Liz has sent the library service agreement to you as well, so you have that. Title VI training is required for all library staff because you are subrecipients of federal funds through our office, and you all always do that as well. And the standard survey, I think Liz had that on here to mention specifically, and it's due July 15th, and the standards are a benchmarking tool, not a report card. Everyone always gets a little apprehensive. Um, so think of it as an advocacy tool, and um, Manny will complete that. That's really it from the region. You all are wonderful to do your trustee certification to meet all of the deadlines. It's a pretty, pretty easy board. It's a pretty easy library. <laughs> In terms of that, that, the only training that we have coming up is the 24th of June. It will be at the Tennessee State Library and Archives, and that is the archives and preservation training that Liz, Liz mentioned last time. That's it from the region, unless you all have questions. Do you know when the upcoming trustee training is? The next trustee workshop is going to be September 25th, tentatively at Art Circle, but it's not finalized yet. Um, we are still waiting for a final review of all of our training calendar for the next fiscal year, so we'll see soon. I thought it was um, interesting in the, the brochure um, about the... Um, Find it, the storybook trail. Yes. I don't know if you all read that or not. Um, the storybook trail that they installed in the city of Dayton. And it the way I read this, it looks like they put three books on each. That is a whole title of one book. Okay. Oh, the mouse and the really? Yes. Okay. So they, oh, wow. Yeah. Three books on yeah. one. Yeah. Why yeah. That would be Sorry, nice. big, big, big deal in Dayton. Story. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, okay. sorry, big deal in Dayton. And so they chose a, a strawberry themed book. And they did a really wonderful job of laying it out and having like um, some math and some activities, all different kinds of prompts of count the seeds and how many strawberries and take big bear steps. It was very cute and really well done. And they partnered with their parks department for that. That's, you know, we're talking about the story of the trail. So the governor's awesome. early literacy it's foundation does provide a grant for that. It will open yeah. again in the fall. So be on the lookout. Thank you. Thank Today. Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> Are there any committee updates? We've already talked about the bid for um, the book return. Any any other updates from any committee members? We will try. I think I'll talk to Lauren. Um, no, next month I don't think is a good time for us to do any, any uh, workshop on our our future plans. Um, but I know Manny has been talking to staff and has yeah. some feedback from them that we'd like to share with you all. So maybe in August, uh, if we can look at that next uh, day in August, maybe coming in an hour early, 4.30 or so, um, and just kind of getting an update from Manny on where we are and where we need to go uh, in the next few months in the, in the future for our long range plan. So. You all look at that and think about that. We'll we'll communicate a little bit closer to that time. Um, okay, under old business, uh, confidentiality of library records, we talked about that uh, last 
month. Do I have a motion uh, to approve the confidentiality of library records? Do I have a second? Second. Any second. discussion? Any, any feedback? Okay, all in favor? Okay. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, under new business, our internet safety policy. We're not voting on this, so is there any uh, feedback on the internet safety policy? Corrections or suggestions? Okay, if there's not any, we'll move on. Uh, Manny, you want to talk about the next thing? Sure. And this goes hand in hand with, with, with the friends. And I know in a few moments, we're going to talk <clears> about <throat> the uh, annual friends funding request. But I, I also want to, this is like a night of thank yous. And um, we need to thank he as well for being, serving as president for several years on the board and really taking the friends from one level to another level and opening up new ideas and thoughts uh, to help the library. And I know it's not easy because how many volunteers do you have downstairs? 140. So that's a lot of personalities. And um, <laughs> you have managed that very, very well. And We'll still have our Thursday morning uh, chats, yeah, <laughs> uh, with you and Mandy, and usually Dick's there as well. So we'll continue to do that. But I would just want to thank you for just some of the ideas, like we're going to talk about in a few moments of having a disco at the library, and you not batting an eye, like yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, not all friends presidents are like yeah. that, and that's good that you have an open mind for that. So thank you so much for, for doing that. Um, that being said, we are looking at doing a silent disco here at the library on September the 28th. It's a Saturday. There's no football game that night. So uh, that's good. Uh, this is something that apparently another library in the region has done, correct? They did a Taylor Swift album launch party, so okay. they were not silent for certain. <laughs> 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 I've, I have heard from speaking to the, the companies out in Knoxville, and they do a lot of Taylor Swift silent discos, and Amanda Small, who is would be aware of lunch. She took her daughter to one, and there are little girls to adult males that are screaming at the top of it or singing, but it sounds like <laughs> screaming Taylor Swift songs. So if you've ever been to one, or you could just look on YouTube, it's just people dancing. It's quiet, but you hear people just shouting and singing, and and there'll be three channels. So there'll be a dedicated Taylor Swift channel. And we have one of our staff members who is a big Taylor Swift fan. She will be the DJ for that channel. And then Summer and Rebecca will be the DJs for the disco dance, 80s dance, whatever, dance music channel. So you'll probably hear maybe the electric slide. Well, probably not the electric slide. We'll be you know, crashing into one another during the, but you might, you'll hear some disco, ABBA, Bee Gees, uh, who knows, maybe the Charleston will be in there. I don't know, but they're the DJs for that. Uh, the we'll, last time we went dancing, man. It's a Um So we're looking at the library will be closed, but we're looking to have this, this go from six to eight. Again, staff members will be the DJs, There'll be staff members there kind of kind of being the bouncers or whatever, just kind of walking around watching 200 people screaming and singing somewhat. Um, 
and the, the cafe will be open. Yeah, Chelsea will have the cafe open. Uh, so we're, we have a space for it. We're going to clear out that whole main gallery area and just have a dance party. So I'm requesting to the board if we, we can do this. I make a motion that we allow Manny to do the fox trot. <laughs> no break dancing. Yeah, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you, what do they call it? The worm? The worm? Yeah, I don't like any of that better. That's what it's called. Any discussion or questions or anything? We have a first and a second. I think what's the I think the only question that kind of pops up in my mind is because that's that's a bunch of people. Do we have uh, to be adequate staffing, security, anything like that? We will. Yeah. yeah, we definitely will. We're going to clear out the whole area, so we're we're moving where the new books are as well. Okay, and we'll have staffing there. To kind of, we're going to need people to hand out the yeah. the headphones. And, yeah, yeah. So, man, what we do? How this will work? You got three. Three DJs. Yes. You got a big room. Yep. Each one they has here. Yeah, no, that's that's a, a, yeah. 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 And they have so a different color. Right yeah, there, there's right? three, channels three channels that every headset has. Okay. And so red channel might be Taylor Swift, blue might be the Fox Trot and Swing <laughs> Channel. <laughs> and then whatever the other channel is. <laughs> He'll be waltzing. Waltzing. <laughs> yeah. So we are doing it this Saturday at Hops in the or Friday night at Hops in the Hills. Um, we did it last year on Summer on Broadway and Hops in the Hills. And a lot of younger folks really like it a lot. And it is hilarious. It's a lot. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, people. I, I did it you. last year. And the best part is just to take the headphones off and yes. watch, watch everybody in the room. That's, That's why the room is going yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, I will share it. So if you want to check it out, you can see what it, it's about this Friday night. If you want to see it. Where are they doing it? They, um, Somewhere on Broadway where they close down Broadway and it's in the parking lot next to Blue Tip. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing that we had trouble with just sharing with you guys is making sure folks didn't walk away with the headset. Yeah. And so yeah. there's some kind of special protocols they follow. Just pay attention to that. But I think yeah. it's great. Yeah. We'll have that one entrance and we'll have someone there to. I yeah. think one entrance is smart. Yeah. yeah. It'll be easier here than that. Yeah, that yeah. part of that um, parking it, lot. Yeah. 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 So is 200 enough is my only question? Well, you know what? If we need more, then next year we'll go for okay. 250 or, but this is just a trial run. I mean, I'm hope, I think we'll get 200 mm -hmm. participants. So something different. Does the partnership have headphones also? No, we okay. utilize the same company. Okay. I'm not sure. We're okay. probably a, a probably okay. the same company. Someone in Knoxville. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Are you going to be the DJ at the? No, we, no. they are the DJs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think you should let Manny do it. <laughs> <laughs> Del Forme. <laughs> I think we can be the DJ. I'm going to be the DJ. I'm Any other questions? Okay, we have a first and a second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. And the friends request. Yes. Did we did we vote on the, the did we vote on the silent discos? Oh yes. 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 We voted you? on the approval to oh, yeah. take the yeah. here. Yeah. And now we need to vote on the friends request yes. for the the uh, silent yes. disco funding. I'm thinking. Yeah. And then following that, we'll. Under the friends funding request, we'll go over the annual. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this, it's a thousand dollars for the disco. Again, this has got that the cost for the headphones, the tablets. They supply tablets, and they'll have the playlist on there as already. And we're going to be the DJs. It would have been additional cost to hire DJs, but 
Um, the, the, he, the gentleman, his name is Joseph. He said, you know, the staff can be the DJs. And I know uh, Savannah is going to be our Taylor Swift DJ. And she was so excited about it. So that that was easy getting Summer and Rebecca to be part of it. I would make a recommendation that one of the board come teach. The new board members. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I would like to see 100% board participation. <laughs> I will be a natural <laughs> editor. <to> that, <laughs> that would be only if we can line dance. Yeah. <laughs> so do I have a motion that um, we request the funding from friends? So moved. Second. Also, okay. any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Motion carries. And then we have the yes. You have a, a paper on your uh, at your area there for the funding for the friends for next year. Mm -hmm. And this amount, this request is lower than last year. Uh, but a few of the things I'd like to point out. If you look at AS204, Annabelle Smith Literary Festival, that is the new name of our fall um, local authors festival. We really wanted to kind of go back to the history of the library. And Annabelle Smith was the first librarian. Uh, Kathleen actually has some artwork from Annabelle Smith. Um, and we did find a picture of her as well. Uh, so we kind of want to go back to the origins of, of, of the library. Um, if you want to look at it's it's under it's under the PS Cafe MGE admin and PR request total under ADM two five one library spaces evaluation. Mm -hmm. So. So the spring uh, you went, you went. yes back in the spring and Stephanie and I watched via Zoom but Anjane and I think Summer oh, May. And May Rebecca and no, no, Zoe, Beth, Summer and Anjane went to Art Circle mm -hmm. um, and attended a full day workshop from a gentleman by the name of David V and he does library space evaluation for libraries a library camp um, we're in the process of beginning a long range plan mm -hmm. and maybe possibly a new layout of the, of the library. So this worked hand in hand. He was outstanding. Um, so that line item would be for David to fly from Long Island here to Blunt County and he would spend two days here. So he would do a full evaluation of the building, including the basement. Also included in that, he would hold a community forum. So the one that evening he's here, he would host that for the community to find what they would like to see in our library. If there's new services that they would like to see, if there's something, we have a lactation pod, that could have been an example, or study private study rooms that could be something so that's part of that as well Anjane I don't know if you want to because you spoke with David yeah. on the phone um so it's a it's a very thorough process he will be talking to um stakeholders uh he'll be talking to um frontline staff uh he will be observed his first hours he comes in and um he doesn't really talk to anybody. He wants to watch people. He wants to see where they gravitate to. He wants to see how they move through the building. Um, and then after that, he will, um, after he has had those assessments, talked to the uh, people, done the community forum, he's gonna go away and um, he's gonna write, a, it's usually between a 60 to 100 page report coming back talking about his findings what he observed where he thinks we can create so 
What it, in this program, which thank you, Nikki, because it was the regional library who put it together and it was phenomenal. He introduced to um, to us or the people who attended that, that uh, under principles of merchandising, that you can make a space so much more engaging by the layout of it, by how you let the people flow and move within it. And so that's what we're inviting him to come. He, we're asking him to come here so he can help us create little quote unquote neighborhoods that encourage people to explore and use our space to optimum levels. Um, and I have to admit the example he shared with one library during that training was a library director had a hard time getting her staff on board. Um, so what she did is she picked a remote display and she applied his philosophy using dictionaries and thesauri. And they saw that display circulate in like circulation increase by 40 percent they were it was just flying off the shelf and he introduced a very important concept about how every customer service interaction was trust building or trust where you know weathering and um, that was very impactful for me and he said the reason merchandising works so well in a library is because your patrons and your community start to trust what you are putting out on that shelf for them and they want to explore it. And if it's the Sorai and dictionary, they're going to check it out. And that just blew my mind, <laughs> blew my mind. And that stuffing an area with everything actually detracts from what you've got. So well thought out displays are much more effective um, and really get your collection explored. So sorry, I really oh, excited. This, this is a great um, I'm enthusiastic attendee. <laughs> this is just if we're looking long range plan, we're talking and that includes circulation. It's not just fiscal. This is an excellent ingredient to add to that. So that that's part of the request. Yes, it does. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah he's going to be doing the basement as well. What about our outside space? He got the heat. I think, like, just the river. So, um, he didn't, I mean, he's going to be talking about the, as he approaches the building, but not the parking lots, not the, you know. What about it's... our garden areas or two, the large outdoor area outside of So, I city? think because, like, so you're talking about this, like, for lack of a better word, pavilion mm -hmm. concrete area over there. I think that will be part of it because it is part, but I thought you were talking about like the lawn space and the, like he'll probably care, cover the learning lab, you know, so, yeah. but it's, it's. That's neat. Yeah. I mean, I think it's very wonderful. Do you integrate, if we decide to go, if we decide to go with this particular program, <laughs> do you integrate that into the long-term program that we have now that yeah. we're trying to get? Off the ground. Absolutely. Yeah. This will be very helpful in deciding, <laughs> you know, the types of furniture, the types of display, how we want to, it, it could go so far as how we find our, how we use our signage, what type of signage we use, how we use our digital signage, like, because all of this creates an atmosphere. So, so he's done this before. Oh. So, so have we maybe reached out to that one or two of those other particular libraries and, and find out the effect that they did? So in the in the training, he actually had several examples. And one of them was um, a library out in Seattle, Washington. And a very small library, maybe 16,000 um, square feet, uh, had glass on one side and was just jam packed with everything. And he got them to reduce their collection by 30% and their circulation increased by 30%. He created spaces and little um, uh, nooks and crannies for people to visit and explore. He took collections and highlighted them in different ways 
and it's almost like staging a home from so exactly yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly like so for instance this particular library kind of sat on um you wouldn't know it because they had bookshelves lining it but he took the shelves away and there is this amazing view of the ocean and by opening that up, he, people started to gravitate there and spend time there, which means they were using the collection and the space more. So it sounds like this is the kind of data that you should be preparing to feed into a digital artist for a foundation request or. or it's yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so do you guys have this, the same conversation with the two? Because this is one we, of the three right? Yes, we, yeah. we have yeah. the conversation. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so one of we encourage them to put it on the list. Okay, cool. Thank you. One of the make, make sure that <laughs> you know now is the power is working. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. so when I meant stakeholders, there's gonna be uh, the foundation a member of the foundation is gonna be present, a member of the friends is gonna be present, a board member is gonna be present so that he gets a feel of what everyone is, you know, can bring to the table. Community forum is going to be such an important piece. I think that's great. Okay. It is. Uh, it is. Yeah. That means that you need to really have some type of advertising prior to. Yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe two or three months. Of exactly. You know, the, um, the output of that form, is that something that uh, could be published uh, publicly uh, or some sort of summary or any sort of so that's sort of a feedback mechanism for we're here. This is what the community is saying, or does that stay internal to the library? So not knowing what it is, right. I, I don't know. Yeah. So um, community forums are recorded and are on YouTube. So yeah. I have seen that. And one of the library he did was the Weymouth, the Tufts Library in Weymouth, Mass. They just built a $33 million brand new library. They brought him in. And if you look at it, I've shown you pictures. He's really big onto mobile shelving and that's all it is mm -hmm. everywhere and they're all the highest shelf is four feet so there's no six footers or, or higher a lot of there. flexibility and yeah. the shelving and the displays and all of that yeah. and he is currently working with another jonesboro uh okay. washington county library who has um had a tough <laughs> tough situation handed to them and he is turning that lemon to lemonade they got moved at their building salt their, their municipality sold their building and they got moved into a former grocery store mm -hmm. with not very much warning so um, after he left our training at, at our circle he went directly to them so mm -hmm. yeah yeah are yeah. yeah. staff excited about potential of like having flexible spaces and stuff i know like some people are creatures of habit we would have to educate like people who come who come here for years and oh your section may have changed so what is it when when we came back from the training we were very excited and we shared it with manny and we shared our thoughts there and then at some staff meetings it was mentioned that we attended the training and staff were encouraged that if they ever got the opportunity to see him that it would be helpful because it would change it would change the way they view signage the way you stack a shelf the way you we put up we, we yeah you know the way you organize an area um and we kind of left it at that because we didn't know what was going to happen with this so now that depending on what happens with this the next phase is to you know share with the staff what Nikki, did they record that session? It's not recorded at all. Oh. Uh, he does have some recorded trainings. Like, you can find him on YouTube. Um, he's spoken frequently at the Association for Rural and Small Libraries. He may even have something on Web Junction. Okay. So check Web Junction because I'm thinking he has a session on Web Junction. That you have a copy of his book, too. Yeah. Um, he's, he's the library space planning guy. Um, so... He transitioned from marketing and corporations and like consumer habits there to working mm -hmm. with libraries. So, yeah. And he still teaches that at the NYU. 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 Yeah. I have a question about the overall request. You mentioned that it went down. Yeah. But then we also added this $10,000 addition. So, what, what's well, the difference? That was a that was an add-on, right? That was, yeah. that was an add-on. But yeah. what's the difference between the request from last year? And well, the reason why it's lower, we want to wait until uh, David 
does his uh, assessment. assessment. Okay. Because, and we've spoken with D already. Uh, if there's, and you'll notice there's nothing when it comes to furniture right. or shelving. Yeah. That's what we're waiting okay. for, okay. David. Okay. Then there would be a, a mm -hmm. wish list. So An additional speak. request. Yeah. I threatened great bodily harm yes. to to yeah. uh, Manning it. She said it was a request that was higher than last year's. Okay, <laughs> I, I was hoping that was the reason. Yeah. And then we'll put an asterisk next to it when we talk to the board. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I know Chelsea and I on the committee for the um, cafe, like, I think I'm, my hope is that he's interested in looking at that space, too, because, I mean, there's so much when it comes to functionality and displaying of cafe items that, like, serving on the committee, I have no clue, but I know that it will require some additional requests, and so I didn't sit in here, so, okay, I'm happy with all of that. Yeah. I go the same thought. I think that Shakespeare Garden, if he looks yes. at that, yeah. some great and great and space uses ideas yeah. there would probably be. It will probably gonna hit budget too, right? You know? yeah. yeah. Can we he's gonna give us a lot yeah, to yeah, plan yeah. to yeah. as I look at Bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we to make sure that it looks at the Shakespeare Garden? And I was on the Greenway the other day and I was looking at that space outside, like, man, programming out there. It is there's yeah. so much opportunity, so I would just ask like if definitely well, those spaces are included. No programming in August and May, I know outside it might be challenging, but <laughs> so we need to ask for approval of this. Do I have a motion that we approve the friends funding request for next year? So moved. I have a second. Second. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Thank you. Um, under important dates, uh, we do have a change for the foundation. This next meeting will be July 19th. Is that right, Bill? July 19th. Uh, they met a week early this, this month, so um, that June 21st meeting will not, has already happened last week. So July 19th. Uh, and our next meeting is July, I can't see, July 16th. At five thirty, um, so is there any other announcements or any comments that any of you would like to make? Say goodbye to our two, three board members that are leaving and going on to the greener pasture. Well, I like that. <laughs> we appreciate their, we appreciate everything. Comment time. Comment time. <laughs> So I just like to uh, really thank the board um, for what we all have done in the past few years, especially since we've had some really challenging uh, times. And I'm really, I'm really proud how the board has stayed together as a team and fought through some of the challenges that we've, we've had. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you, Manny, in terms of coming on board and. The selection committee, we, was, we had three, four candidates, and I thought we were leaning towards two people, and we decided on Manny, and I think it was the best choice that we made. I appreciate what you've done, but until July 1, you're still with me. So, <laughs> but, so I'm, really, I'm really proud of what we've done, and I'm proud of the uh, staff and, and their commitment to many and and the all the work that you guys have done to really make our jobs easy because again we still uh still should remember that the library really is the gym for Blount county and people who haven't uh, really gotten that uh that information really don't know where they're no, it must be on the rocks or whatever, but uh, we continue to do great things in, in the library. I'm proud of what you guys have done, and I'm really proud of being a member. Thank you. Thank you, Logan. Anybody else have any I think, comments? I think I'll follow up just 
ditto. Um, but uh, uh, no, uh, just wanted to thank everybody for listening to my crazy questions and ideas over the years, and uh, just seeing everybody's passion for the library and getting a chance to be part of that for even just a small amount of time has been really a wonderful experience. And I'm I'm really saddened that I don't get to continue on for a little longer, but. Uh, that is what it is. Uh, but I'd say I just encourage staff and board members and Manny, like everyone, uh, take pride in this building, take pride in this organization, and never, never stop asking, like, how can we, how can we serve the county better? How can we serve the people better? And uh, you keep following that. And uh, so, uh, but yeah, and just I also wanted to express thankfulness and thank uh, Dexter. And I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, Becca, Becca, thank you very much for being willing to serve and for <clears throat> stepping up to the board. Um, and uh, um, it's it's not always the easiest of commitments. Um, sometimes it sometimes it feels light, other times it feels heavy. At least that was my experience. Um, but I really appreciate your willing to serve the library and the county, so the people. Anything else? Thank you. Right, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Thank you all. Appreciate the audience. <laughs> <laughs>